Hello and welcome to another update video about eGold. The eGold chart um, <clears throat> is in a uh, pattern that we discussed before still, which is this diagonal pattern to the upside in which the market already formed three waves to the upside between the September lows and the December highs. So three waves to the upside in a diagonal pattern, yeah, the structure is corrective. So we have three waves in wave one, we have three waves in wave two, we have um, an A wave to the upside, we have a B wave and a C wave for wave three, and then this here is the wave four, and we're likely still getting one more high in wave five. Yeah. At the moment, just visually, this looks like three waves up in a diagonal, in a non-overlapping diagonal so far. And yeah, this could be the fourth wave with one more high to come. That would be my expectation. The price already dipped into our support zone for a swing trade and already reversed out of it. It would already be a successful trade for anybody who entered this, um, yeah, basically in a, in a swing trade here in this support region, even if that person only entered here at the top of the box. I mean, not massive profits, but at least profits okay still 20 percent to 30 percent depending when on when uh, or how we measure yeah but um yeah is the way four already in that is the question i would say there is a good chance it is uh, it's very simple there is a key invalidation point so we can say because it's a diagonal we're tracking an abc structure here and the c wave to the upside could be unfolding right now that would be further confirmed with a break above $73.90, which is this swing high from the 3rd of March. That level needs to break for further confirmation that wave 5 is actually unfolding. And if we talk about targets for wave 5, I've added a new one, which is $87.30, which is the 100% um, extension level of this initial A wave to the upside um, in yellow. Then we have this B wave to the downside, and the C wave often has the same length as the A wave, and that takes us to round about $87.30. Another way of measuring target gives me a $100 level as target. Yeah, So between $87.30 and $100, that's where I would like this wave 5 to end. But the condition is that the $57 swing low is holding. Very simple. Below that level, I think we are going to get a reset of wave 4. These are the two scenarios. They are both bullish because even after a reset, of wave four, I'd like to see that wave five to um, unfold. And if we get another lower wave four, we're likely testing $41.70. And ideally not below that. A $36 level would be very deep for a fourth wave. And the question is always when we have two scenarios like that, how can we distinguish them yeah, from each other? Um, how can we differentiate? It's again, very simple. It's the $57 level. As long as $57 holds, the yellow count is in control. That fifth wave could complete a larger wave one in the region around $87.30 and $100. A break below $57 will likely lead to a reset of the wave four to $41 roughly. And from there, the wave five can restart and the price can attempt a restart. Only below $41. The overall assumption that we are is still in a five wave pattern to the upside would have to be revised or at least um, at least the chart would need to be checked again because below $41, it's below the 50% FIB level and it would be very deep for a wave four even in a diagonal and it wouldn't really have the right proportions anymore even though technically I would allow it to come down to the golden ratio level at $36 below that level the, the chart the count has to change okay below that level the count has to change so ideally we're forming the five waves up and we just need one more high to round about 8730 to complete wave one and then this will be interesting in wave two for a pullback trader that's my update about eGold hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye